Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and here is another probability problem for you. Jones is a chairman of committee. In how many ways can a committee of five can be chosen from 10 people given that Jones must be one of them? First thing for us would be to consider if we are looking for combinations or permutations. In combinations order doesn't matter, in permutations order does matter. And when we talk about committees of people, we do not care the order of those people in those committees, we just interested that they are there. So this is going to be a combination problem. So we have to find how many different combinations we may get. And you also have to pay attention that we have 10 people, but Johns have to be present in every committee. So we already choose John out of 10 people. So actually this problem how to find different combinations of four people out of nine people, not five out of 10, but instead four out of nine. And notation is going to be out of nine people. We are looking for combinations of four. There are two ways how to solve this problem. One would be to use Pascal's triangle and here's Pascal's triangle, first diagonal, column we ignoring and we concentrate our attention at the second diagonal column and just count to nine. So we are choosing from nine. So this is going to be nine number here. And then we are looking for four. So we count four places to the right. One, two, three and four. And this is going to be our answer. So you see how easy it is using Pascal's triangle. What if we want to solve this problem using a formula and here's a formula n factorial divided by r factorial n minus r factorial. In this formula n stands for the total numbers and r stands for the numbers we choose. N which is going to be nine, again, not 10, but nine. So nine factorial divided by R, which is four factorial and nine minus four factorial would give us nine factorial divided by four factorial times five factorial, which is the same as nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two and times one divided by four times three times two times one and times five times four times three times two times one. And we can cross out or cancel this part on both denominator and numerator. And again, our answer is going to be 126. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.